Hello, lovely. Welcome back. I am so happy that you're here. I hope you've had a wonderful week. I hope that wherever you are, it is spring. We have really been, I don't know, teeter-tottering back and forth between cold and some kind of warm days in New York City. And I have to say that definitely takes its toll on me. And spring in New York, it's been 17, almost 18 years and I still haven't gotten used to it. It's just quite different from my younger days living in Missouri and having a much warmer springtime. So with all that being said, um, I thought it would be really fun to answer some of your questions. Um, you all have reached out asking for suggestions on books that they that you all can look at and get inspiration from. So I wanna share some of mine with you. I have one, two, three, four, I have five that I'm gonna share with you. And I think because I have spring fever so bad, tomorrow it's supposed to be 70. So fingers crossed it's sunny and 70 because we're out at the country house today, but fingers crossed. Um, since I'm having spring fever, I thought it would be really fun to share some of these books that are about the gardens. We made a trip to Home Depot and I think that's what really inspired me to create this video for you. The flowers are so beautiful and I am really looking forward to our property coming back to life. It's kind of still sleeping a little bit. The azaleas haven't quite bloomed yet. Still a little chilly, but I think in a week or so we should be kind of in full bloom. Anyway, let's get back to the books. Oh, look at those cute little flowers. Okay, let's get back into it. My first book is, can you see? Okay, great. Tuscany Artists at Home. So this book, or no, this is the wrong one. <laughs> That's this book. Okay, we'll start with Tuscany Artists at Home. This is not necessarily spring themed or outdoor themed, but this book gives me a lot of inspiration. You wanted to know where I get inspiration from. I get inspiration from other creative people and their environments. So here's a picture here. So some of the commonalities in all of the images I'm going to show you throughout all of the books is that there's a very relaxed feeling. There's a feeling of connectedness to nature, bringing the outside in, and you can really see the importance of nature in the artist's homes beautiful dining table. You know, the thing I like about artist areas are the fact that they are just so different from the way other people live. There's so much inspiration around. There's so much creativity. There's um, really working with the environment, a lot of bringing the outside in that I really enjoy. You know, there's just beautiful images in this book. Look at this one. I love this image here. It's just little simple things that people put together. Creative eyes put things together in unique ways and just come up with things that have never been seen before. Look at this one, this collection here on the walls. And this is what I hope for you. I want you to explore your artistic and creative side. I do believe that we all are creative and I know a lot of people may say that they're not, but I do believe it. Look at this, look at this image. I love this image. Look at these beautiful figurines and sculptures. So inspired by these. I love the color white, like the color white stone. It's one of my favorite colors. We painted all the walls in our house this color from Benjamin Moore called Putty because it, it reminds me of the color of white clay and I, I just love it. it uh, <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it, but I love it. Oh, I love this too. Such a beautiful image here. So this is one book I highly recommend. And this is, whoops, the cover came off. This is called Tuscany Artists, Tuscany Artists Homes. So I, I put the 
I put the jacket back on for you, but normally I take these off. So I did put it on so you could recognize the book, but I will go through and um, see, I like it for the gray and the embossing. You probably can't, there you go. You can kind of see it here. So I like it for that. And so I, I don't know, I just, I always like the books without the covers because I love the texture and I love, I don't know, I just love the way they look like this. So that's Tuscany Artist Homes, and I will link everything below. I'm pretty sure you can still find all of these books on Amazon, but I'll make sure. And if I don't find it on Amazon, I'll find it somewhere for you so you can order it. This one is the companion book to Tuscany Artists in Their Homes, and this is Tuscany Artist Gardens. <laughs> so this one is perfect for my spring fever right now. And let me just find some of my favorite images. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Look at this beauty right here. Look at this pool. Oh my God. So beautiful. So magical. Can you imagine swimming in this or taking a walk to this property? This is how I want our yard to be. This is how I want our property to be. Oh, look at this beautiful sculpture by the pool. Look beautiful. Ah, wait, and this, I didn't even show you this one. This is the image of the, the pool at night. So another beautiful little patio. Dining al fresco would be pretty amazing here. Here's another beautiful pool. We will be putting in a pool of this house. So I, I want something like this, something very minimal not very deep, but something that has this wild feeling to it. And I think that's what I love so much about all of the gardens in this book. They feel natural. They feel a little wild. They feel rustic. I hope the sound is okay because I keep putting a book in front of my face. I think that's what I love so much about about artists and their their gardens because it does. It feels very natural you know it, it really it's it's interesting because well when I think about a lot of gardens that I personally love they are very natural I don't like things that are too fussy oh this is beautiful look at this this is a magical spot here I love that so that's Tuscany Artist Gardens, the companion book to Tuscany Artist Homes. Um, speaking of Tuscany, <laughs> I have another Tuscany artist at home. See, I get a lot of inspiration because it's not just artistic inspiration. You know, if you saw the Be Different video that I posted, gosh, I think it's been almost two months. It was at the beginning of the channel, but... There, there is so much inspiration for your home design that you can find just from artists in their studios. And that's why I kind of call my home aesthetic, um, it's like old world art studio, like old world with modern slash art studio. Because, or I think I told someone else, I call it artist retreat or something like that. I just want this to feel like a creative, beautiful retreat for us. I want to be surrounded by beauty in our home and I want to feel inspired to create. Here's a beautiful, beautiful bathroom here. Look at this. So these are Tuscan artists and ah, I love this too. Gosh, it's so hard. I wanna show you every single page, but look at this beautiful, beautiful villa. So even if you don't have an outdoor space, you can still create this kind of feeling in your home. Gosh, look at this. This one here too. I love this, look at this staircase. There's a very special synchronicity here with this book. This was given to me by someone. And as I was going through the book, I noticed that 
there's an artist that I actually know, Betty Woodman, and the gallery that I worked at in Chelsea years, years, years ago when I was so much younger and just moved to New York. I worked in an art gallery that represented her. And the synchronicity was her daughter, Francesca Woodman, was a huge inspiration to me when I was in art school. Her photography was unlike anything I had seen before. And so I was always really inspired by her. And then I happened to work in an art gallery that represents her mother, the odds of that. And then years later, I'm gifted this book and here she is, Betty Woodman. I knew that she had a studio in Tuscany and it's so beautiful to actually see images of that inspiring, beautiful home, unpretentious, so relaxed. You can see her work throughout. It's just a special little synchronicity and I love it when life, God and the universe brings all those little perfectly tied up in a pretty bow kind of things into your life. It feels like magic. So one of the things I love are this, like a pot rack. I love, whoops, you can't really see that very well. A pot rack. I really want to put that in our home, like in our kitchen. But something as simple as this, you can get inspiration from. I also love the hat collection here on the wall. And you see, it's just, it's just simple beauty. It's nothing pretentious. It's nothing expensive. It's absolutely something that you could, you could simply collect over time. You could find thrifting. You could collect hats as you travel. I have a few hats from traveling. My next book is Province Artist Gardens. <laughs> Do you see a theme here? <laughs> this is like kind of the remnants of a home and they turn it into like a beautiful outdoor area. I just love stone walls. I think they're so beautiful and they're so charming. Here's a modern home. But even in Provence, Provence <laughs> even in Provence, I feel like there's this feeling of just natural beauty, like this appreciation for natural beauty. You know, and I think that that's something that I personally love. I love natural beauty. And I feel like who am I to interfere with nature and think that I can make it more beautiful than it is? Look at this. Look at this pool. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Oh my God, magical. I just look, you look at it and you just imagine what, can you even hear me? You just wonder what would life be like? What would it be like walking through these magical places? This one's very modern here. You see this? I love the, the staircase. Here's the pool. Oh, there's one more, the new garden paradise here. Look at this color. I love the pink hydrangeas. Look at these beauties. And I love the tall grasses. You can hear this book crack as I open up the pages. Can you see that? There we go, that's better. It's that time of year. And I really want to make our property just as magical as possible. I want to create a beautiful space for everyone to experience. So I hope you enjoyed my book recommendations. I want to say thank you all for joining the lives. It has been so much fun and I will be doing it again, I promise. Maybe not for an entire month, but I will be popping in. Maybe it'll be like a once a month thing, but I really have enjoyed helping all of you and helping to stimulate your creativity and come up with ideas and solutions for your homes. It has been an honor and a pleasure for me. So on that note, thank you so much for being here. Sending you so much love from New York. Mwah.